What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman, aka the Crypto Hitman. Now this is a big one. Everything is waterfalling in the market. Let's take a look just at the Bitcoin chart right now. Holy moly. Wow. So you can see our previous buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, and then sell. You notice not only are we making profits on our trades, but then we're usually buying back cheaper than our previous sell, adding more Bitcoin to the bag. Now, the video that I just did, I said this white line right here is the all-important line to hold. And guess what? It gave way and it caused a cascading effect on the Bitcoin price. Now, I have not seen any news why this has happened other than the stocks closed red. I think they were minus... Minus 167 for the NASDAQ, and right now the futures market is down another 26. And we do have a trading day tomorrow on Friday. Really interesting to see. And we'll, we're looking at both Riot, MicroStrategy, Coinbase, and Penn Stock on the stock side in this same video. So we'll take a look at that. Overall, man, Bitcoin did get hammered. We will get back to the Bitcoin chart here shortly. So BNB, here we go. You see a buy, sell, a buy, sell a buy and then a break even sell avoiding this waterfalling effect again patreon.com slash learn crypto if you want to get all these trades live and get full access to myself full access to todd butterfield get these trades live and avoid these waterfalls because we are looking for when we're going to buy back you can notice that bnb did set a new low here but is very very oversold now there's no buy indicator here with any of these moving averages but what you do have here is a potential bullish divergence forming you see here that means a new lower price the price is lower than here but the rsi is still holding higher ever so slightly than back here so when the rsi is not as deep the price is as deep this is a bullish divergence this would be a large time frame bullish divergence indicating that this could be a major low forming on bnb you also see here, this is going to be critical to hold around these levels because you took out this low, you took out this low, and now really you just have this low here, this level here. You got that low and that low. So this low that it, oh, took that out already, that was at 217. You got this low at 184. That's a critical level of support. But again, hoping on a larger time frame this is forming a bullish divergence this is really a long opportunity here in Binance we haven't given an official buy yet in the discord but on this uh, daily you can really see what I'm talking about with this bullish divergence the RSI is holding higher than this previous RSI while the price is much lower so if you want to start nibbling here this is an unofficial uh, there is no buy indicator in patreon but this is the kind of setups you like to buy especially if you avoided the pitfall like we did selling, getting stopped out for a break even on this trade just yesterday. Now let's look at Bitcoin. I already talked about our previous trades on Bitcoin. You can see them here. Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. All making profit. All buying back cheaper. Avoiding the XRP and SEC pump up here. And having patience to buy in this zone that we gave publicly on YouTube, Twitter, and everywhere. We did have a stop for a 1% gainer right here. Just before the sell-off. It's easier to see on the 4-hour there you go now this white line was critical for support it is given away it caused a cascading effect we do see that bitcoin rsi is completely so oversold uh, also on elliott wave count this could be an abc down the c wave was set to be complete around twenty five thousand, which we got but we did not see it being this aggressive normally you'd want to see the, the c ending more on a diagonal but we saw an aggressive sell-off that could still be the C wave as we do see that Bitcoin is bouncing here. I do think that uh, this isn't going to end. You know, we came down here. I think we can kind of meander and maybe that was your C wave, but you have some time. I think we're going to revisit these lows again and hopefully they can hold. Now, downside is, like I said, the stock futures are now down minus 37 for the trading day tomorrow. The S&P indicators, uh, the Wyckoff indicators we have say that stocks might low might not be in. So for Bitcoin to hold up in the face of stocks is very hard to do. Uh, so I would say downside risk. Downside risk is still lower than here and probably all the way down here. 23,000. I don't like to say it. I don't like to see it. But that is the case because realistically, 
it's hard to tell on this chart, but this wick here was lower than this. This low already gave out. This support already gave out. The only thing you have going for you is the RSI is super oversold, and this could have been an Elliott wave, ABC. This is just a really quick C sell-off. That's why I would like some consolidation down here. So the time-wise, it works out better. And then we're ready for the major move towards 35, 36,000. Coinbase. This is one that we have saved people a lot of money on. A ton of money. Why is that? Well, let's zoom in here. This is a sell that we gave in patreon.com slash learn crypto. Wish you guys were over there. Hope you guys are over there because we are making some money in $1 a day. A simple dollar a day could change your life. Check it out. We sold at 105.83 up here and we have been looking for a re-entry for this zone ever since. Now, Nick, we're in that zone. Why aren't we buying? Well, instead of just buying and hoping we're picking a low, we're using overhead buy. So we have made posts saying to make an overhead buy here. You notice it didn't get filled. When it dropped lower, we lowered our overhead buy to here. Didn't get filled on these. We go lower, and we just lowered it again. I probably will lower it before the open tomorrow. So if you want to know where we're lowering the overhead buy to, join patreon.com slash learn crypto. If you notice, we didn't get filled even though there's relief rallies. Why is that? That is a skill in the market, time in the market, picking levels, res resistance levels, that it would need to break through in order to give us the buy. And they just got rejected, got rejected. And it got rejected. So we're right on point where we need to be. The post market is showing Coinbase at 71.90. That is a whopping 32% lower than our sell. That means you can A, get 32% more shares by deploying all your capital back to buying Coinbase. Or B, you can buy back the same number of shares and have all that 32% of profits for other opportunities. Those opportunities could be in the form of MicroStrategy, Riot, Penn Stock, and some others that we're going to talk about in this video. Nonetheless, we are going to keep our eye on this. And before the stock open tomorrow, I will be lowering this overhead buy. If you don't know what an overhead buy is, I want to see how we frame it. Here is how we frame it. Look, I post it at everyone. Stock, we tell you the exact ticker symbol. We tell you the market. Action, lower the overhead buy limit to 81.22. And then it gives a comment on kind of the update of how the trade worked out. What And then the options of do you want to add more shares to your bag or do you want to buy back the same number of shares? Also, if you don't know how to enter an overhead buy, I gave a full picture for our first overhead buy here. It's telling you this is what your coin trade setup should look like and I actually put in the exact numbers. You can follow step by step on these trades with us. We are here to help and we are here to try to put more shares, more money, more opportunity and more education for every person in our group. And that is our goal. Patreon.com slash learn crypto. That is Coinbase. And we are killing it. Going to add a ton of shares to that bag. Regardless, I love it. I think Coinbase is still going to be the top cryptocurrency moving cryptocurrency exchange moving forward. They are going to be supported once the BlackRock ETF is approved. I don't think it will be approved on September 2nd. But when it does, it's inevitable. BlackRock has already said they're going to use Coinbase as their custodian of choice. And I think that's huge for their earnings and their revenue. And I think this is why this will have a big turnaround off these price levels. On top of that, they did just get approved to have futures markets for both Bitcoin and Ethereum, which will bring in more revenue um, to the Coinbase ecosystem. All right, Dogecoin. Yes, this is Dogecoin. In the last video, we have no active trade on Doge. Last video, I said this white line is major support. I would like a break to occur. We are live here. I said, I want to see Doge force me to buy. I want to see it break this white line. And this is right around the areas where, yeah, we're going to watch this, see if this trickles back down. But it is going to be a forced buy. Why do I want to buy Doge? I believe that uh, Elon said by the end of the year, Twitter or X will be your all-in-one financial application. That means... There will be coin tipping, there will be dollar tipping, there will be in-app in, in sponsorships, memberships, etc. And what you can utilize, I believe, Dogecoin within the app, that is going to send Doge flying. I think an announcement of Doge integrated integration into X would immediately send Doge to this $0.13 cent level and potentially all the way up to $0.30. Cents. Okay? So I think you have a big run up into this 13 cents. We consolidate. Everybody says, oh my gosh, a double top here, a double top. And then we just fucking moon it. And that is the wick that you would want to sell. Well, who knows if it goes to 24 to 30 cents. That wick, we would want to be a seller. So I think we're getting pretty much getting our hands forced into buying Doge here. Like I said, you can buy here if you would like. But 
I do think there's a big possibility this kind of rallies and we meander down at least to kind of re get real, real close to retesting these lows. Maybe it forms a bullish divergence for you. And then potentially if Bitcoin does put in new lows, I mean, you're looking at new lows here for Doge as well. There isn't any more support down here, guys. I guess the next support would be like 5.3. So um, start nibbling if you like. This is what I was looking for. I said I want to see Doge break this. I did not think it was going to happen this quickly or this aggressively. But wowzers, that is big. That is a 24% drop. 24% saved if you watched here us here at Learn Crypto. If you want to know exactly when we're buying this, join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto. Otherwise, stay tuned for these public updates. Next, let's take a quick look at Ethereum. Here is the trades. We bought back here in December of 2022. We sold for some profits, then we sold again up here. I think we sold 25 to 50% of our bag and then sold the rest of our bag. Bought it back, sold for profits, bought it slightly higher than the previous sell for another trade selling up here. We haven't done too much with Ethereum as far as gains up in this level. We've had a couple break-even trades, a couple one percenters. I'll need to update this chart with all those. I don't follow this as much. Um, this is more of Todd's trading. He trades Ethereum a lot. I use Ethereum kind of as an indicator for the altcoin markets, for the alts that we trade. We're seeing a massive sell-off in Ethereum. You don't see the same bullish divergence on this that we saw with BNB earlier. You notice price is lower. And so is the RSI. So you don't have a bullish divergence on here like we saw with BNB. Um, and you're kind of out on the sticks here. Todd is on the sidelines. He had a sell once again. Right before the sell off for a break even trade. Somewhere up here. Sold that hasn't re-entered. If you want to know when he's going to re-enter, join patreon.com slash learn crypto. Otherwise, you know, I'm just kind of holding out. I'm, I'm not really trading Ethereum personally. I use this as an altcoin indicator, and Todd had to sell up here, so I'm going to wait on his call on what we're going to do here with Ethereum. Floki! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Why do I think there's an opportunity here to buy Floki? I told you again when we were talking about uh, Doge looking for a drop uh, due to the Shiba Inu issues. Uh, Floki was kind of the same boat. Now, Floki chart looks a lot like BNB. You have the lower price here, and you have this holding on to the bull bear bullish divergence. If you go to the four hour, or if you go to the daily, you can see it a little bit better. There is the bullish divergence on the daily. You can see we trade this a lot. Buy down here, selling up here. Everything is going pretty well. We even had a sell on this massive pump up here as well. So, I like Floki. Floki will follow Doge if Doge is the leader. Um, and it is a meme coin that's more than a meme coin. They're struggling right now because SHIB had some issues and Doge is falling off as well. So, of course, Floki is. But once again, you do have this bullish divergence here with this Bitcoin sell-off. And guess what? It goes right equal with this previous low, which is going to be decent support, and this previous buy zone from back here when, when Floki and the dog coins were having their hype in early February. So this is a decent level to start looking at buying some Floki if you have access cash or if you sold out at higher levels. As for INJ, we were looking at this this pattern here. This pattern would say, hey, you have a potential breakout with this is your measured move. Obviously, that has now failed because I said if this white line breaks down, that has failed. Now, the nice thing that INJ has is it has 200 moving average support here which would say downside risk to $6.30. What I was saying about INJ in the last video is I think INJ is going to sell off. It, the last video was up here. I think it was going to sell off. I was hoping it would hold this white line. It failed to. But in the face of the Bitcoin sell-off, it is holding much stronger than Bitcoin. I said the INJ chart looks like a 3x Bitcoin chart. Now, to the upside, it has been a 3x Bitcoin chart, but surprisingly, to the downside, it has not. It has outperformed Bitcoin today, it has outperformed a lot of altcoins today, and unlike a lot of altcoins, it does have the support here at the 200 moving average at $6.27. INJ is one I'm going to dig in deeper for fundamentals. I might do a full fundamental video, but overall, what I will say is Wyckoff likes to buy strong stocks. Well, Wyckoff also likes to buy strong crypto assets in any market that you're trading. Wyckoff wants to buy the strength, and this one is outperforming the index, which is Bitcoin. Meanwhile, this chart looked exactly like Bitcoin's chart, just 3x leverage. You're getting 3x the rewards, uh, the earnings versus Bitcoin. Surprisingly strong, held during this drop, and has 200 MA support. So if Bitcoin drops a little bit lower and INJ comes down to the 629 level and bounces off this, this 200 moving average, you're going to be even more oversold on this RSI. And I think that is an asset that you want to be a buyer of. 
A Litecoin, in the last video, I said the halvening historically has repeated itself. Guess what? You are going to see a sell-off, and what do you see here? Our last video was up at these levels, and boom! From the last video, we are down somewhere around 23%, so right on the money. Hopefully, I saved you guys some money, and hopefully, you are following us at patreon.com slash learn crypto here on Twitter or over at YouTube. Again, you, there's no real buying here. There's no real reason to buy. There's no bullish divergence. You don't have a bullish divergence on the RSI. You don't have a buy indicator on the moving average. You don't have a buy indicator on the moving average up here on prices. And you've sold off. Really, the only thing you're going off of is this is a huge capitulation wick that we could see a bounce on. And you are very oversold on your RSI on the daily, as well as the four hour, very oversold as well. Other than that, you don't have much to go on. Moving averages aren't in your favor. Bullish divergences just aren't there. Historically, after the halving, you have a few months of downward for Litecoin before uh, it creates a rounded bottom. And then we're going to see a nice trajectory leading into the Bitcoin halving. But other than that, I don't see a reason to be a Litecoin holder. Of course, Todd will be trading Litecoin. Todd primarily trades Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and BNB over at patreon.com slash learn crypto. So maybe he, he gets a reason to buy this thing. But from my perspective, all the indicators I have, there's no reason to buy this. I think that again, this is going to do the same thing as all the other coins meander. And hopefully if Bitcoin holds, that you can form around a bottom before we have a move up leading into the Bitcoin halving. Micro strategy. Now this is one of the stocks we've done very well on. We had a 25% winning trade sold here. Of course, we wish we would have sold a little bit higher, but 25% is 25%. We've had patience for a sell-off. We didn't buy this first dip, and now we are going even lower. I was saying you have a potential bullish divergence, bullish divergence forming on the RSI and price, but guess what? Let's get rid of these. Right here's the bullish divergence, but if you can see, this blue dotted line is post market. So this is the futures happening right now that the market is closing. Look where it's at, three hundred and thirty-two dollars. That means it's gonna be all the way down here, all the way down there. What else is there? The last show I did, I drew this line saying that this micro strategy price is going to trend down to this moving average. See, I even have this white line here. Now, of course, it is lower because this moving average is not moving quite as fast but essentially that means you're looking at a price target around at the open maybe 338 and right now we're already at 332 post market that means after this video i'm going to go to patreon.com slash learn crypto and put an overhead buy limit in to look to buy back these shares on a steep discount from our previous sell again our goal on these is to buy back either A, the same number of shares and pocket all the profits for other opportunities, or B, increase our position sizing by the decline. In this case, we would be able to buy 15% more shares. So if you had 100 MicroStrategy shares for this first trade, now we're gonna have 115 MicroStrategy shares for the same amount of money. Looking at the out bullish outlook over time for Bitcoin, that means I'll be a bullish outlook for MicroStrategy as well. MicroStrategy is a software company that owns nearly 1% of all Bitcoin that will ever be in existence. So if you're bullish on Bitcoin, you probably are going to be bullish on MicroStrategy as well. That's why we've been trading it. That's why we're going to be looking to buy back our stock shares here on a steep dip, uh, decline from our last sell that we had at patreon.com slash learn crypto. I hate to keep saying the link, guys, but I want you to be in there. Think of the amount of money, even if you only have a few shares, you're making a ton of profits on this and only for a dollar a day you can be part of the group with me and Todd. Another stock that is not related to Bitcoin, this is for those who like online gambling, is Penn stock. Penn had a massive run up in COVID as well as when uh, they partnered up with Barstool Sports and Dave Portnoy. Since then, they have just been absolutely massacred. We have not taken any trades on Penn stock, just kind of watching it. So why would I want to take a trade on it now? Well, Penn and Barstool are split up. Penn sold Barstool back to Dave Portnoy. And guess what? Penn partnered up with ESPN. Now, ESPN is my favorite. I personally watch FS1 now. ESPN's got a little woke for me. But guess what? ESPN is still the largest sports platform in the world. And they are now partnered up with Penn. Their goal is to have an ESPN sports book. So kind of a DraftKings for ESPN. You can bet your bottom dollar that ESPN will be shilling this sports book all across ESPN, ESPN News, ESPN2, ESPN Deportes. The list goes on and on. So I think in the long term, it's going to be great for Penn. I think they're going to bring on a lot of revenue and they're going to bring on a lot of new 
users. You also notice that Penn is breaking all of these lows, heading towards $20 in my opinion. We have earnings out here quite a bit. We have new lows forming. So why would I be interested in this? Again, we have the NFL season about to start very soon. We have the NBA season starting in October. Those two sports are responsible for most sports betting. Again, NFL about to start, NBA about to start, and they are partnered with ESPN. Will they have the gambling platform ready to market and to use? I think they will. They're not dumb. They're very smart people. The timing lines are perfect. NFL about to start, NBA about to start. They're about to shill this thing. And I think by the next earnings, they should already have the platform out. And even if they get even or they miss their earnings estimate, I think it's going to be bullish. You notice when the news first came out, it had a big, big green bar up, but then massive selling. Dave says this wasn't him, but it was probably a lot of the stoolies selling the Penn stock. We're... So again, I don't I don't know if I'll be buying tomorrow. Post market is twenty two eighty two, but I think if you can get anywhere closer to twenty dollars, that pen is set up to, for a big run, and you should be buying pen stock around twenty. Again, it's it trades at a much lower PE ratio than its competitor in DraftKings with the biggest sports coming. Pens on my radar. Pen at twenty, I want to buy. I will be holding pen stock just like David Portnoy. Let's go. The last stock to talk about today is a Bitcoin mining stock. We have been trading and harping on Coinbase, on MicroStrategy, on Riot to be a seller. All of our charts, we came profit trades, and we have been sellers waiting for a new opportunity. You see here we had a 53.3% trade at patreon.com slash learn crypto. If you aren't making gains like this in the stock market or the crypto market, join us for a dollar a day. You can change your life. Patreon.com slash learn crypto. Sold it for 53%. Obviously, we missed some of the meat here but we were calling for a sell-off. In my last show, you can see this white line. I was looking for a target of at least $13.64. Today's sell-off is dramatically lower than that. We have not yet given a buyback yet, and the post market is showing even more weakness down here at $11.32. This will be a whopping 27% lower than our previous sell. Again, we're going to be looking to buy back the same number of shares and put the profits in dollars for the next opportunity, or you can increase your bag, the number of shares, by this 27%. If you want to know exactly when you're buying, when we're buying, join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto, or stay tuned for more of these updates on YouTube and Twitter. We are seeing very oversold here down on the RSI, right? That is perfect. Also, you can notice, it's hard to see, but this moving average is kind of rounding, and this RSI is rounding. We're going to get a bullish cross at some point. How much lower do we go? I think the low that will be put in here, at worst case scenario, is probably $10, but I think it's going to stop before then because a lot of people are looking for the $10 mark. So I'm thinking $10.36 would be worst case scenario low and that you should be a forced buyer at those levels. If you're not in our group and it hits 1036, you probably want to blindly buy that unless you think Bitcoin is going to go catastrophically lower, which I just don't see it happening. Overall, great trade on our end. We're following through with the trade. I know we're talking about the same assets in a lot of these videos, but guys, that's how you find trades. Stick with the trades with us and find winning trades over and over. We get it on an asset that we make 53%. It's now 27% lower than our previous sell and still going lower in the futures market. We're going to be giving a buy on Riot. We're going to be giving a buy on MicroStrategy. We're going to be giving a buy on Coinbase in the near future, and I want you to be a part of it. I want you to make gains just like this. So join us. Please join us and stay tuned. Shibi Unu. Man, the ship community was not happy with my last video. Why is that? This yellow line is when I did the last video and I said there's no reason to be a buyer of Shibi Unu. I'd rather be looking at Doge. I'd rather be looking at Floki. Well, because I thought it was going to be uh, sell the news of their, their new Shib Shibterian or whatever it is that they launched. Well, it ended up being worse than that. Of course, it was the sell the news. That's what got us down to these levels. But then they had some kind of outage or some kind of issue with their new product launch. And then th that sent them to here. And then on top of that, now Bitcoin descent sold off. So it has given up all of the gains it made off that, that news event. All of the gains it made off the news event has been completely wiped out as we sit at this level. Again, not much reason to buy. No bullish divergences. And if you want to buy the dog meme coin, I would rather be a buyer of Doge. And I would rather be a buyer of Floki. 
Shibi, maybe they'll turn things around, maybe not. I'll, I'll take a closer look at their fundamentals because I got absolutely hammered by the community in their last video when I said there's no reason to be a buyer up here at these levels at 1,040. And now we're sitting down here at 7,092. I'm sorry, guys. It's not a hate on your project. It's just I saved my community 25% in just a couple of days. Saved you 25% in just a couple of days. No reason to be a buyer here as well. Again, if you're going to deploy capital, I like Doge. I like Floki. Maybe Shiv will change my mind in the future. But for now, it's just not the case. We're getting close here. Solana. Solana. You can see we had a bunch of wins here. A bunch of winning trades here. A sell, a buyback, a sell, a buyback, a sell, a buyback, a sell, a buyback, a break-even sell. I missed this pump. I slapped myself, but I can't win them all, guys. If I can get a break-even or a one percenter to protect our, our, our people, protect our capital, I'll have to take it. And now we are below the previous sell. So I am keeping an eye out on a buying opportunity. Let's see here on the charts. Do we have anything meaningful? I don't see a bullish divergence on the four hour. Ooh. No bullish divergences on the one day and not even really oversold. I will say that Solana has, like INJ, has been a very strong asset in, in this uptrend and this downtrend. And Wyckoff likes to buy strong assets. So that's why Solana has stayed on the radar. And also the fact that it is below our previous sell means that we can buy more Solana tokens with that same capital. But as of now, I just don't know if I can go out here and buy it. I'm going to mark this chart here for my next video. Right here is where I'm telling you I just don't know if I can buy it. I think we're going to get another retest of these lows at the very least. And then maybe we get a bullish setup. Moving averages. Look, this blue one. You want this blue one to cross the white and then the, the yellow to for a, 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 bullish, a bullish cross. Just like we saw here. See how the blue crosses the white? And look how we worked up. Blue crosses the yellow. And see how we worked up. That's called a bullish moving average cross. We don't have that set up here. We don't have a bullish moving average cross here on the RSI. We don't have a bullish divergence in price to RSI. And volume right now is okay, but pretty standard while this sell-off is occurring in Bitcoin. No real reason to be a buyer here besides the fact that this is a lot of support in this area. And we are lower than our last sell. But that's not enough for us to give an official buy. Stay tuned at patreon.com slash learn crypto. And hopefully we can get some more of these trades going here. Man, Solana. If Solana retests this low, gets it back down here around $20, 19 to 20 bucks, you could blindly be a buyer of Solana. Uh, I did a video, check it out on Twitter, where I think Solana will outperform Ethereum this market cycle for various reasons so find that video watch it it's about three minutes or you can watch it here on the youtube channel as well in the videos column so exciting times ahead for solana but right now it's just kind of in a, a neutral area and you're just really trying to buy it you're, you're trying to ca catch a falling knife here it might work but normally in this market it does not work so right now i'd hold out and look for a retest down here something 19 to 20 bucks and you probably could be a blind buyer all right, XRP, and of course, we are not perfect. Nobody is perfect. We did take a loser, although we gave a sell up here on this pump, and here's my tweet to prove it. Let me blow it up for you. I said, XRP reached its highest level since March 2022 after the courts ruled it is not a security. This initial pump and relisting by exchanges will be just exit liquidity for whales and long-term holders who need to cash out. A lot of people are FOMOing into XRP. I was telling you, this is the exit pump. If you own XRP, sell it. If you bought on the way up, sell it. That was the time to liquidate. People were using that for a liquidity grab, and of course, they did. It sold off, and it sold off hard. Now, down here, Todd did give a buy at $0.66. Cents. We had a buy set up, and stocks looked favorable, but it quickly went against us. He did have a, a stop at $0.60. Cents. So we limited we limited losses on this trade to 8%, and it could have been now 24%, and the wick low was 35% lower. So, yeah, we're not perfect. We don't win everything. We're not here to tell you we'll win. We're not here to cherry-pick trades. We're here to show you the full portfolio structure and everything we're doing over at patreon.com slash learn crypto. And we are waiting for another setup here on XRP. XRP is not our favorite. But again, you don't have a bullish divergence. You don't have a bullish a moving average cross. But what you do have is you do have some bullish news. that SRT, SR, It's probably not going to be considered a security. XRP is going to continue to build. But it took out all these lows. I'm going to go ahead and delete this tweet. Took out all these lows. And I think very strong support is this teal line I've had here forever is down at 33 cents. Will it get down that low? Man, for XRP holders, I hope not. 
But right now we're sitting on the sidelines on an asset that really isn't our favorite. So this would be the area. 32 to 35 cents would be a blind buy on XRP if we get down to those levels. Otherwise, there's no major indicators here. And I'll let uh, Todd give the next buy signal on it since this was his previous trade. But I told you guys, I told you, this is going to be an exit liquidity pump after the SEC news. I hope you've been following along. I hope you took it. And if you want to be ahead of the market, then join us. Hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button, or join us at Patreon, and we're here to guide you. Last asset I wanted to talk about was Horizon. This formation, I said, had to hold this white line to be in play. This formation is now invalid. I'm looking at this, and I'm like, okay, what could you see? I mean, possibly... Oh, man, you can't even see that anymore. I was going to say before this wick, you were looking at something like this. It was holding these levels, and you can see that's what held, but that just gave it up too. You're seeing very oversold. You're seeing your near freaking lows on this thing. Ugh. Ugly chart. Ugly chart for Zen. I'm looking for some bullish divergences or something. And we are, frankly not seeing it right now there's nothing to go on i think that on the upside this yellow line here you want to see a break above that if it gets rejected here that means we're going to meander we're going to do something like this and then get rejected to meander down to these lows again and then it's going to be relying on bitcoin what happens if bitcoin drops that means we're probably going to revisit these lows down here at five dollars and fifty cents if you don't hold any zen and you like passive income i think zen and horizon will make a strong comeback with them having a grayscale product also, if you have 42 Zen or 500 Zen, you can set up a super node or secure node, which pays you out every Monday in the form of more Zen. The APR is around 5 to 8% right now currently. And at these rock bottom prices, I don't think you can get hurt too much. So if we do have this and we get back to this 550 level, maybe the $5 level, that's a blind buy. Buy 42 or 500 Zen. Go to allnodes.com and set up a, a node to start earning APR paid out every Monday. If you need help with that, we are here to help. I'll try to help you in the public channels, but really, patreon.com slash learn crypto gets all of our advice, all of our help first. You simply tag me, and I'll walk you through any process, any question, any trade setup that you have right there, live in real time as soon as I get an opportunity. Man, so it gave up the white line, so this is invalid. It gave up this yellow line. It tried holding it for a second, so now you're going to want to see price action break above this yellow line to be bullish. Otherwise, if you get rejected, you're going to meander back to these lows, and then this is going to be dependent on bitcoin wow that is an absolute mouthful guys that is all i have today crazy price action i mean whoa we, i was on the phone with todd and this thing just started selling off hard that is insane Whew. let's keep a close eye on bitcoin here gave up the support but still trying to hold these low levels again on elliott wave this could have been an abc down a b c that's what you're looking at if you don't know what i'm talking about be an A down, a B up on the S SEC pump, and then this would be your C down holding. Going, but technically it did go below this A. You want to see the A go below or the C go below the A. Technically, depending on the charts, it did go about two hundred dollars below that. That's why I think this has a chance to meander. Maybe takes a little bit longer, and we do get a C down closer to this twenty-four thousand level. But this, technically, based on the rules of LA Wave, that could have been the C. If that C is completed, guys, that means we're heading to 35000 If the C is completed on Bitcoin, we are heading to 35000 Hit that like button, hit that share button, and subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Twitter, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. What coins should we look at next? Hit that retweet. Love it. It helps us with the algorithm so much. And, and if you have... You need help in the space. You want some of the trades you're seeing. You want my 24-7 guidance as well as Todd Butterfield. Join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto. A dollar a day can create financial freedom for you, especially leading into this next bull cycle. We've done it for other people. We have testimonials of, hey, I bought a new house. Hey, I put a pool in. Hey, I bought a new car. The opportunity is there. It's not going to be easy. We're not going to win every trade, but we win more than we lose. And we're going to position your portfolio for success in the bull markets, in the bear markets for five years, for 10 years, for 20 years. We're not going anywhere. I will see you guys later. If you like daily updates on stock and crypto, technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and news, this is the place to be right here at LearnCrypto.io. Peace.